Greetings, Sekiro Goru here. Let's take a look at all of the unlockable shinobi arts, including the deadly shadow rush. We'll start with the whirlwind slash. It's a spinning attack that can be performed by pressing the block and attack buttons at the same time. It's strong enough to break through enemies' guards and can strike several opponents at once. A deadly slash indeed. Next we have the mid-air deflection technique. A shinobi spends a lot of time in the air, so it's a good skill to be able to deflect attacks when airborne. To use it, simply press the block button when in the air. Next on the list is a shinobi's karma, the body. It simply increases the number of spirit emblems that you can carry from 15 to 16. Now we come to the Makiri counter, a very useful ability as it enables you to counter those unblockable spear attacks from certain scum enemies that lay in wait for you out there. You use it by pressing the dodge button at the time when a spear is about to strike you. It can be tricky to time at first, but not a problem for a shinobi such as yourself. Next we have the run and slide move. Useful for those who like the cowardly stealth approach. Use it by pressing the crouch button when sprinting. It will make keeping out of sight of the enemy a little easier. Next is the Suppressed Presence Technique. It makes it harder for the enemy to see you when you're in stealth. Demonstrated here against the deadliest of enemies, the Chicken. See how easily the monster spots you when you don't have the ability. Now, see it compared to when you have it unlocked. Your movement range is increased when you have it, as you can see at a glance. Go have yourself Chicken tonight. Now for the Vault Over Technique. With some fancy footwork, this move allows for death blows from behind. What use is it, I hear you say? Well, for a start, you'll make all your shinobi friends jealous with your silky new skills. Beyond that, well, it looks pretty cool, wouldn't you agree? Next up is the Suppress Sound skill. By default, your steps and movement will alert enemies when you get within a certain range of them. With this move unlocked, you'll be able to move freely behind them up close and personal without alerting them, allowing you to strike pure and get those clean kills. That or you'll miss and get aggroed anyway. Next is the Shinobi Eyes technique. It works alongside the Makiri counter and simply adds more damage to an enemy's posture when you pull the move off. The extra posture damage is slight as you can see in these two comparison clips, but that difference could be all the difference in the world. Next on the skill tree is the mid-air combat's art ability. It basically allows you to perform the whirlwind slash move in the air. It should be used after jumping over a sweep attack, or when jumping to an enemy that has already spotted you. Perform it by pressing the block and attack buttons together in mid-air. Next on the list is a shinobi's karma, the mind. Just like the body version, it simply allows for an extra spirit emblem to be held. Next is the Breath of Life, the Light Technique. Keep an eye or two on the health bar here in the corner. When performing a death blow, this ability will restore some of your health. Very useful for amateur ninjas that use all of their gourd potions. Maybe you can tell me what they taste like as I've never had the need to take one, being the ultimate ninja. And finally, we come to the all-powerful Shadow Rush, a deadly thrust move that impales your enemy from a great distance and then launches you above him, her, or it to deliver the final blow. I learnt this move as a three-year-old and my daddy ninja took me on a fishing trip. And that's all. Subscribe for more tips and secrets, and click the link in the description or at the end of the video to watch a Rage Annette playthrough for my failed disciple, Frogstar the Dragonborn Coward. You're gonna get killed by a chicken this time, John Ninja? You fucking bitch! Dark Souls man wouldn't get killed by a chicken! What the fuck? How many more chickens are in here? It's like Zelda! Oh, you fucking piss of chicken off and they all come get you? What am I getting for killing these chickens?